What's up everybody, Sam Smice here. Today I wanna to show you how to use this program called Deep Sampler, which allows you to take one of your drum samples and use AI to convert it into a completely new drum sample. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Deep Sampler was created by a company called Audio Lab, and they have another product that is called Emergent Drums. And this product, Emergent Drums, allows you to generate an infinite amount of drum samples using AI. I haven't actually played around with this program. I have played around with Deep Sampler, and that's mainly what I wanna talk about today. So Deep Sampler is kind of like their new thing that they're testing out. It is in private right now. They call it an alpha, so you can actually get a access code, and I'll tell you how to do that toward the end of this video so that you can try it out for yourself. So it's a pretty simple interface. You can either just quick record your mic or drag in a drum sample. And then you can drag this slider, which allows you to choose the variation that you want to have on that original drum sample. Now, I feel like this is in its super early stages because when I do try this out and put in a sample, then it tends to add like white noise to every sample. Um, but sometimes you can get some good results and it's just kind of like something fun to play around with. I'm hoping that they're continuing to improve this product um, before they actually release it for the entire public to try out. So this quick record mic, I mean, I can try and record like some snaps and let's just see what happens. So that's what it sounds like. Let's maybe add some variation and hit generate. And so you can hear that it just almost has like this white noise to it. I think that you could download this. So I, if I want to download this, then I just hit this download and then I can download it and then chop off, the, off this ending part. Uh, this part sounds like it came up with like a clap. So I think that initial part sounds pretty cool. Like that sounds like a pretty good clap sound. So I could just kind of uh, just download this and then chop off the end part, uh, take out that white noise. I wouldn't really use those two, but maybe I'd use this clap sound. Um, and then what you could do is you could hit this little heart button if you want to favorite, if you like the sound, or you could click on this little arrow and then it will put it back into this square. And then you can create another variation off of that sound. So then I can change this variation knob again, or this wheel or slider, and then maybe I'll lower it again and hit generate. And let's check out some of these sounds. I mean, that sounds like a pretty cool clap. Of course, I just have to cut off this and white noise. Now, apparently these sounds are being generated from using AI, so they're completely new sounds. Um, so I don't really know like how how the wor it works like behind the scenes, but essentially these are supposed to be like completely new sounds. So you can just create your own sample packs, create your own samples using this product, this deep sampler. So let's maybe start with just some samples. I have a kick, let's listen to this kick. Kind of like a house kick, and what I'm gonna do is just drag it into the website. So let's drag this into the website. And then I can play around with this variation. So I still want it to be a kick, so I'm gonna keep it toward the low end and hit generate. Let's check out the sounds. Now they're really, really similar, and I think that's according to this variation uh, slider. So let me actually drag it a bit more because I want them to be a bit more different. This one sounds like a cool Tech House one, like a pretty thumpy Tech House kick. So that might be cool, but let's just see what else we can generate because I slide up this uh, slider up a bit more. But maybe if I shape that up a bit in Ableton took out this, seems like there's a, ga a gap in that uh, beginning. I think that this one could be really cool. This one sounds really similar, almost like the pitch was changed. I think this one's good. I like this one, I'd probably download this one, but I could also now just hit this arrow and now put it into this square and see if I can create some variations off of this one. Now, if I drag this variation slider to the max, 
then the sounds it creates are going to be completely random. So let's see just what happens when I hit generate. Let's check these out. That's kind of like a really cool, almost like a live kick sound. That one could be maybe like you could sample that, create like a bass out of it. I like that. That's that's really cool. Kind of like a live kick sound. So so there it goes again, adding that white noise. So with uh, one shots, this seems to work pretty well. I think it's working pretty well with these kick sounds. Um, if you try to like put in loops, it doesn't really work. If you put in like uh, instrument samples, it doesn't really work. Like instrument one shots, I believe they're possibly trying to come up with. Uh, some some ways where you can put in like a bass one shot and then create a new sound off of that. But at the moment, uh, while it's still kind of like in their testing mode, it's just drum one shots. So let's just try like your basic 909 style hat, open hat. There's a sample. We'll go ahead and drag this into deep sampler. And let's set this variation. Let's just try like 0.5 and hit generate. And let's check these out. Now see, I don't mind the white noise as much on the end of these things because you can just cut them out, clip them out whenever you're editing, editing these samples. But I mean, that could be a cool uh, hat sound if I just took off the end of that white noise. I mean, this is this right there, that just sounds like a good hat sound. And this was the original one, one more time. So you could chop that up, make it pretty tight hat for like uh, bass house or tech house. So now I just dragged in those two samples I made from Deep Sampler and let's go ahead and just edit this. And maybe even I'd wanna change that start point like that. And then let's just go ahead and consolidate that. And let's change this one, take out the Length that's a bit too long. Shorten this. And let's go ahead and consolidate that. So now I have two new hi-hat sounds. This one. That I generated from this sound. And maybe I want to shape up the end of this one a bit more. That sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and consolidate that. Cool, yeah, so the hi-hat sounds. And now let's just go ahead and try a snare. Here's just another sample from Splice. Pretty punchy snare. Let's go ahead and change this variation. Let's put around 0.4 and hit generate. And let's check out these sounds. So these three sound actually really good to me. Here was the original. They don't have as much of that like width of the original, which I uh, would have liked to maybe hear some variations with maybe some of that more. You can hear almost like this has a clap or something that makes it sound a bit wider. But I mean, this one sounds pretty cool. So yeah, I think this is just like really something to play around with. And if you want to just create some unique samples, let me tell you now how you can get access to Deep Sampler. So what you do is you go to the Audio Lab Discord server, and then in that server, if you go to the Welcome and Rules channel, then you'll find a link that will allow you to get access. And once you click on that link, then you can enter in your information and then get access. And then once you go back to this website, then you just enter in your access code and your email, and then you can get full access and play around with it. Then also, once you have the Discord access, you can go in there and uh, give some feedback and comment on ways that they can improve this product. Um, that will kind of like help them figure out uh, how to make this a lot better for when they roll this out to the public. Because at the moment, um, it still feels kind of like a, a beta product to me. Um, not, not super, super useful, uh, aside from just specifically like one shot drum samples. So anyway, go and comment down below what you think about Deep Sampler. If you have tried it, 
If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like, and also please subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. And if you like to check out MICM preset packs, I'll put links down below for those as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.